Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then welcome. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can do these rainbow French tip nails at home. I am not using anything special, just using the brushes on all of these different nail polishes. I have a bunch of different brands here, so you can see that this is possible with just about any type of nail polish brush. I also have this little brush that I use to fix some of my mistakes using this nail polish remover. So I basically have a pump and I just dip the brush in if I need to fix any lines or if I get nail polish on my skin. So anyways, my nails are already prepped, they're cleaned, and I have trimmed my cuticles. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the first nail. Notice that I'm skipping the base coat because I want to go back in with my brush and nail polish remover to fix this line, and if I put a base coat there, I'm basically gonna be removing that base coat. So I've just skipped it all together. So you're gonna start with the corner of your nail polish brush and start at one end of your nail. Start a little bit higher and then angle downward towards the tip of your nail, go across and then back up on the other end. So as you can see, I'm creating kind of like a downward slope and then going straight across my nail and then creating another upward slope at the other end of my nail. This makes it look more natural in terms of nail shape instead of just going straight across. Also, don't be afraid to go a little bit higher than the natural whites of your nail. So here you can see this is the first nail. Um, I think the shape looks pretty good, so I'm not going to go in and fix it, but we can always go back in at the end as well. I'm going to move on to the second color. So I've just chosen these spring colors. Um, you guys can choose any colors that you want, or you can do all of them the same color, or you can do a regular French manicure and just use white polish for the tips. So I'm doing the same thing, starting on one end, making a downward slope going straight across and then making another downward slope. So you're basically creating like a very slight um, C shape as you're painting the color on. Don't worry about getting it on your skin or if your lines aren't perfect. I am going to show you later on how you can just use a brush to clean it up. And you don't have to have um, like a fancy nail brush or anything. The brush that I'm using is actually an eyeshadow brush, but I just make sure that it's completely saturated in the nail polish remover and it makes it a lot easier um, just to wipe it away. So the next color I chose was this baby pink color. I think all these colors look really nice together and I was super happy with the finished result. Um, but you can do different themes. So if you wanted to do five different shades of pink or yellow or brown, whatever you want, basically um, from lighter to darker, or you can randomize them. I will throw some inspiration pictures up on the screen as we're going through this tutorial, just so you guys get an idea of um, different color combinations that you can use. All right, so that's the third finger done. I basically just did the same thing and I'm gonna walk you through all the way until the pinky finger, just so you guys can really see the process over and over again. This yellow polish I have had for a very long time and it actually turned out to be slightly sticky, which you guys might be able to see on camera, but it worked totally fine for this. Um, I just had to be very careful with how much polish I was using, but it ended up working out. Another reason that I don't really feel like base coat is extremely necessary in this case is because we're only putting the polish at the tip of our nail. We're not really covering our whole nail in polish and the whole purpose for a base coat is to protect your nail, to um, stop it from staining if you're using a very dark color. And so um, I think in this situation, I'm more than comfortable skipping the base coat, um, but we are gonna apply a top coat when we're done. So as you can see, I made a mistake and got some polish on my skin and just used my eyeshadow brush dipped in nail polish remover and it came off super easily. 
So we're on to the last nail. This color is also one of my favorites. It's like a baby blue from the Sally Hansen um, drugstore nail polish line. And um, I think it just tied this sort of spring manicure in all together. This baby blue is the last color that I chose and we're just painting it onto my pinky. I'm doing the same thing, downward slope, straight across, and then upward slope. Um, and I'll show you guys in a minute the completed first layer. Yes, we are gonna go in and paint a second coat. Um, it just helps to make the colors look more opaque and vibrant. As you can see on my pinky, I didn't get a really smooth line and so I went in again with the brush and I can't stress this enough make sure that your brush is saturated with the nail polish remover so you don't have to go back and forth a bunch of times usually one or two swipes should give you a clean result all right so here is the first layer of all five colors the second layer in my opinion is a little bit more relaxed because I'm really just going over and painting it to make it look thicker, more opaque, and more of like a rich color. I'm not really too worried about the shape of the tip because we've already established the shape. I'm actually staying away from that edge so that I don't mess up the shape that I've created on the first layer. Um, I'm focusing more towards the tip of my nail and just building that color. Here's a close up of me doing one nail and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the last two nails off camera and we'll move on to the top coat. All right, so there you go. And I promise the top coat is gonna tie this all together. So I'm just using a Sally Hansen top coat and you wanna take a generous amount and go ahead and seal your colored French tip in. Also make sure you cap the free edge. So I just take a little bit of extra polish and run it along that free edge of my nail, basically where you would trim your nail. You wanna put clear polish just along that edge so that it caps it and keeps your nail polish in and stops it from chipping. You can do this manicure with gel polish as well. It would basically be the same steps, but in between each layer you would have to cure um, and then make sure you do your top coat. With a gel mani, you could put a base coat on and then use your colors to do your French tip and then do your top coat because your base coat is not going to get removed if you use a little bit of nail polish remover to fix up your lines because it's a gel polish. So after I did this first layer of top coat, I actually went back in and did a second layer of top coat off camera just after letting it dry because I felt that it added um, a bit of like thickness and glossiness to the nail that you would normally get if you got your nails done at a nail salon. So I actually did two layers of my top coat and this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I ended up loving this manicure so much more than I thought I would. And I think it's perfect for spring or summer and you can totally change up the colors and do it for fall or winter as well. If you guys learned something from this video, then please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have tried this and tell me what color combinations you guys used because I love being inspired by you guys. With all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.